right, good morning once again to my grade 7, uh, Science 7 class. Um, this will be another new lesson that we'll be having today, which is in connection of the previous lesson. But before we're going to go to that uh, lesson proper, uh, uh, I would like to announce uh, the possibility of our setup for the next few days, no? or even few months, uh, because of this crisis that we're facing right now. Now, it hasn't been um, decided yet if uh, when will be the final uh, resumption or of our class. Either it may it be in uh, May or may it be in June already. Um, there's no decision yet. However, um, we badly need to meet, no? uh, especially for those students who are not able to uh, accomplish their uh, online activities during the, uh, this uh, quarantine period. Uh, that will be the time uh, the meeting will be the time for them to finish all activities that they have missed for um, the, uh, almost more than a month no and that's the reason why um, as an update from the department we are given the chance to either decide of uh, giving a fourth quarter exam or not however um well I was uh, contemplating about it uh, I was thinking of uh, Uh, conditions that I can I can set uh, for me to be giving you maybe something that is uh, for you for you to appreciate and enjoy for the rest of the months now I can wave off or meaning I can I, I will not anymore give you the fourth or quarter exam no on the following conditions number one if there are many of your uh, classmates in science 7b who can finish the activities before we're going to meet ourselves so kung sa may po yun or sa june pa ba yun all right i'll be sending still uh, activities online now if there will be good numbers so let's say for example you, you are 38 in this class that is regist registered in my uh more quipper account um Kung 38 po doon, kung marami pong makapag-answer kasi so far ngayon po, mga 10 out of 38 only are the ones who are answering. Now, if there will be good numbers and number two, if there will be good scores, that the, the one that you get from the quaper activities, then I can waive off the fourth quarter exam. Now, how are you going to do this one? Now, for those who are watching this video and... Um, uh, those who have the opportunity to... To, to watch this one online or those who have internet connections in, in their houses um encourage uh, your your classmates to finish your activi activities um dapat pagtulungan nyo as a class no na encourage yung mga klase nyo na tapusin nila yung activities because then again i get to see that some students are online but then never never are never log in in their accounts now that's the reason why i'd like I'd like you to encourage your classmates to finish this one. Kung pagtulungan nyo to, uh, maganda yung mga scores nyo, then I will be, I'll, I will not be giving you a fourth quarter exam already for Science 7. Alright, so I think that would be it, no? And um, let's continue with the lesson that we have for, alright, so the last lesson that we had was about um, locating places on Earth. No? And in that case, globally, um, we're using mga coordinates, we have the grid system, we have a different styles of system, and even your activities, no? you are to, to find those different coordinates for different countries. Now, let's localize this uh, lesson right now no? from, um, from what you call your, um, from what you call your, uh, tawag nito. Alright, so from what you call your, Sandali lang ah. So, yun na nga po, no? From what you call your uh, locating places on Earth to a uh, locate location of the Philippines. Now, this is trying to, uh, ako, ano? Uh, medyo related ito sa uh, sa social studies nyo, sa AP nyo. Kasi I think in your AP, you already know how to use the map. And at the same time, uh, you know the different... Uh, things that is related to the Philippines, no? especially its geography. Now, we'll be talking that one more here because then again, no? it's better for us to be able to understand first our locality before trying to study other countries. Now, let's go right away no? to 
the lesson. We have your objectives. Uh, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to, number one, determine the exact location of the Philippines. Number two, identify the different land masses and bodies of different uh, land masses and bodies of water surrounding the country and determine the different landforms and bodies of water within the country. Now, this will really be very interesting no? because of the issues that we're encountering right now for our country. If you know the, the issues about um, the arbit arbitrary rule na uh, another country is trying to trying to steal our islands no and claiming that they own the the ocean and we have they have this uh this a uh, really very historic map of trying to 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 put a line on those waters there claiming that it's theirs no thus uh, even stealing our islands right so let's go now to the first one we have here all right so uh, we have here your your location of the Philippines. The Philippines is found in Asia. Now, as I've mentioned, we have seven continents. Now we have North America, South America. You have your Europe. You have your uh, uh, Australia and those different stuff there. But then the, the biggest continent um, uh, globally, you know, is Asia. Now Philippines is found in Asia. It is in the center of the Southeast Asia. Kaya nga, no, whenever we have we have uh, games, no, we have what they call your Southeast Asia. So. We, Southeast Asia is composed of different countries like uh, if you can still remember the one that we had last uh, Philippines hosting last uh, last December the the sea games now we have a uh, uh, Brunei we have Malaysia we have Indonesia we have I think Thailand we have uh, uh, those different countries that are actually you know um, members of Southeast Asia now we are one of the largest archipelagos in the world no Waving now from the original seven hundred, uh, seven thousand one hundred and seven islands, no, that day. However, it's already upgraded now because meron po sila nakita ng mga uninhabited na mga islands that it added around mga five hundred plus now being updated to to seven thousand six hundred forty one islands ang Philippines. Now, Philippines is not the largest, no, one of the largest only because uh, I think. As far as I can remember, uh, uh, Indonesia is the biggest, having thirteen thousand islands, no, as an archipelago. All right, so ito po yun. So ano ba tawag natin sa, sa style ng Philippines? Because if you get to see, no, Australia, Australia is a really very big continent. At the same time, no, it's a country continent. Yung buong continent niya po is actually a country. Now let's go na to the next for us to be able to to see my point, no. When you talk about the Philippines, no? this is actually you already have learned from the previous lesson about the location of the Philippines. You get to see a map on the sides here. No, we are actually surrounded by other countries. Now, for us to be able to know the exact location of the Philippines, you use the grid coordinate system or GCS. You already have learned this one from your previous lesson and you get to see also the bodies of water that surrounds Philippines. No, we have on the on the left side we have this one and on the right side we have this one. And since we are surrounded with bodies of water, this is also the reason why Philippines is always being struck by typhoon every year. Na? We'll be learning that one more when you reach grade 8. Na ano bang style ng landform ng Philippines as a country? Now, for Philippines, no? Philippines is actually what you call your archipelago. When you talk about archipelago, we are composed of group of islands. Now, if you're going to divide the whole Philippines, we have three major islands that divides us. We have your Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. But you get to see that even no, for, from those different uh, different uh, uh, classifications of the major islands of the Philippines, we have different more islands there. If uh, particularly if you're going to look at um, uh, Visay Visayas, no, we have the the Cebu Island, we have the Negros Island, we have the Panay Island, we have Bohol, we have Sikihor, uh, those different stuff there. Actually, if you're going to look at in the middle of this uh, picture that we have, no, meron po dyan, ito po, eh, halos bung island po yan. Ang Luzon, medyo may malaking landmass po dito. Si Mindanao po, on the, on the western side of it, no, we have a big island however there are small islands here and this is already um malaysia in this area right <coughs> excuse 
All right, so the archipelago may form underwater volca- uh, from underwater volcanic activities or through erosion of larger masses. Now, the Philippines, no, is actually also uh, on the top of the topmost area of the Philippines. Somewhere here is actually a group of a uh, group of volcanoes that are lined up there, which is what you call your Pacific Ring of Fire. Now, because of those t- tectonic activities and volcanic activities there, no, uh, years na dumaan and no, possibility of archipelagos forming. Alright? Let's go now to the next one. We have here, let's say for example, that's the reason why I, I sub-mentioned, no, ano bang mga different uh, countries that surrounds Philippines? Now, here is Asia. No, You get to see that in Asia, ito po yung kulay actually ng rings. ng, no, ng no, I think uh, this is the color of the rings of um, tawag nito, yung sa um, Olympics. However, if you get to see, no, uh, in this uh, purplish color here, we have Australia. We have the yellowish, which is your uh, Africa. We have Asia's orange. However, your Europe and Asia is actually connected. That's the reason why previously, no, in your even in your AP, you mentioned you already have learned about what you call your Eurasia, Eurasia, no, because it's a combination of Europe and Asia. So, maliit lang po yung Europe on this other side. We have Africa. This is the yellow one. No? The waka waka. Um, we have green here. The, the darker green is South America. And lastly, we have your North America here. Considering. And ditong topmost din. This is actually your Canada here. So, kasama po siya dun. You have your Antarctica at the bottom. Alright? So, seven continent world po tayo. However, if you're going to look at this is the Philippines. It's a very small island here on Asia. And sino po yung ako ano, si Australia is found down south of the Philippines. All right? So sa baba po siya. That's the reason why that's the country down under that they call Australia, All right? So North America is around nasa eastern side. Oh, uh, eastern side dito. I know, sorry. Eastern side. So kung so ito yung Philippines going to the right, no? Connected siya, iikot ito ulit dito. So you have your North North America there. Right? So Ganun po siya. Alright. Let's continue some more. Alright. When you talk about those different landforms and countries that surround Philippines, it gives actually your vicinal location. So, sino po po yung mga countries that is surrounded, uh, surrounded by, uh, surrounded around Philippines. Right? So, meron po tayo dito, no, mga countries this is, that surrounds your Philippines. We have, uh, this is the Philippines, no? We have uh, Brunei here, we have Malaysia here, Singapore here in this area. We have Indonesia here. Then on the right, on the right we have your uh, your Vietnam, we have your Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, and you have your Myanmar. All right. So, ito po sila yung mga countries that actually is uh, surrounding Philippines, no? So, we call, when we talk about those countries that surround Philippines, that is what uh, that will give you what you call your vicinal location. Alright, so maybe you consider these different countries that are actually the neighbors of Philippines that you'd like to go in the future, no? Magaganda po yung mga countries dito having different culture and different um, mga matanawin na you get to enjoy, alright? So I've been to Singapore before, so this is the only country that I went outside yet, no? So I'm still planning to go Vietnam, Thailand is actually also another another interesting country that I'd like to take photos, no? Um... I think Malaysia is kind of medyo mahal but still considered no na maganda din puntahan. All right. Let's go na to the next. So tingnan natin no when you talk about your vicinal area who is the north who are the countries in the north part of uh, Philippines who are the countries on the south part of the Philippines the eastern part and the western part. So let's try to picture out this no this photo here. However kulang siya Kasi hindi masyado makita yung northern part ng Philippines. But it says here that in the northern, we have Taiwan, Asian continent, and the Japanese archipelago. If you get to see here the Philippines, this is Japan here. Na parang isang, uh, if you get to see Japan, it looks like a seahorse dito sa northern part. Then northern part is actually the whole country. Then there's a very small dot here on top of the Philippines. Actually, that is Taiwan. no Taiwan po yan. So, yan po. And, tingnan natin ulit doon. Sa, sa eastern side, wala po. Kasi sa Philippines, that's actually your Pacific Ocean already. Now, on the western part, we have Laos, your Cambodia, Thailand, and Myanmar. So, this one's here in the western part. 
All right, so those are different countries that's actually surrounding the Philippines or the land masses that actually surrounds the Philippines. All right, so some people, no, uh, this is really very important for our science is because, no, um, some people are actually does not have a sense of direction. Some people, even though many times na po silang pumunta sa isang lugar, let's say for example, if you went hiking, and many times na nilang pinuntahan yung hiking, hiking area na yung hiking trail na yun, pero some people have uh, not so good sense of direction to the point that kahit ilang beses na nilang pinuntahan yung lugar, naliligaw pa rin sila. So, this is a way for us to, no, even at a global scale, in a, in a bigger scale, no, uh, mas maganda pag alam natin po yung position po natin sa, sa mapa, sa globe, and uh, later on, no, as we go down specific and specific and smaller details, makikita po natin na, makikita po natin na, ayun po, um, it's really very, no, very uh, important for us to have a good sense of direction. Alright, so, Let's go now. Let's uh, move on to the next ones here. All right. So, yun na nga po, no? So, how do landforms, no? How do landforms actually uh, are, paano ba sila nagkakaroon, na paano ba nagkakaroon ng landforms? All right. So, we have different types of landforms. A landform is a natural feature of the land surface below, above or below sea level. All right. So, if you get to see under under the sea, you know, we still have what you call a seabed, which is actually a landmass, no? Hindi naman po pwedeng yung baba ng tubig is actually a hollow area already. So landform pa rin po yung below niyan. Now, paano po nagkakaroon ng landform, no? Uh, simply when you talk about your your ano, your landforms or even some some water bodies are actually formed because of what you call your weathering and erosion. So weathering po you know uh, actually weathering is because of the different weathers that as the years go by, no rocks, uh, soil uh, changes their formation. They're being weathered. Some some gets uh, soft, some gets hard to the point no. Um, even for volcanic eruptions, meron pong mga lumilipid na mga bato, ash falls, no? they can form different landforms. And as the years go, they, they, they tend to change formation, they tend to become harder, some get gets uh, softer, some are being eroded, no? from the word erosion here. Thus, no? landforms are being created. Now, later on, no? I will share you what happened, no? especially in a very nice uh a landform that is found in Bohol where I actually personally also have tried visiting before in college when we had our field trip. Now, if you get to see a picture here, no, we have your Mount Mayon is a, one of the famous landforms of the Philippines. To be honest, no, uh, Mount Mayon is really a, a something really very proud for us Filipinos to appreciate is because Mount Mayon is one of the best cone shape volcanoes. No, Tingnan natin yung pagka-triangle niya, pagka-cone niya. It's really very perfect. Hindi po lahat ng volcanoes e eh, ganun po yung itsura nito. Alright? So, we have Mount Mayon no? and, and Legaspi Albay. Alright? Let's continue some more on other types of your um, landforms. Alright? So, first type of your landform is actually a mountain. No? It is an area of land which rises above the surface of the surrounding. Around mga two, kwa, no? at least 1,000 to 2,500 meters above sea level usually no so ang yung mga mountains po ganun mga matataas no na mga areas no we have very near mount that we have here in our visit vicinity in La Trinidad we have Mount Yangbo and we have your Mount Kalugong all right and here in Benguet we have the the second uh, uh, the third highest mountain that I I I um tawag nito I was blessed to be able to to, to hike no which is Mount Pulag in Kabayan. So dumaan po kami sa sa uh, tawag nito anong klaseng trail yon. We have the Akiki Trail is a death trail no ang hirap umak uh, uh, the Akiki Trail po is actually is the Akiki Trail is actually a death trail no na um ang hirap pong dumaan doon. So uh, there is this one in um uh, that really very easy one no if you plan to go there uh go first the easy trail which is anong tawag nung trail na yun uh sige i uh, will just put that one in the link uh, description below however no um you have also mount pulag in in, in itogon uh yes i think in let's just in itogon mount mount ulap then so those are actually uh mga mounts natin na uh, they, they are kind of high 
no they are higher around mga 1000 to 2500 uh, meters above sea level i have already also tracked uh, another mountain in um tawag nito in in Dumaguete in Negros Oriental and it's not in Dumaguete it's in Negros Oriental um yung mount uh Mount Alinis po all right so it's really also one of uh really man kasi being as a science teacher I'd like also to experience no um being one with mother nature and trying to you know kwan lang um appreciate yung, yung nature natin we're in we're far from the urban areas and take photos of them all right so kaya I, I really enjoy it and I'd like to add some more list no of of maybe trekking other other uh, mountains then also maybe Kota Kinabalu in uh, in in and I think if that's in Indonesia um, my friend already have climbed Mount Fuji in uh, Japan Kaya, ayun. and we have many mountains also found in um, in Mindanao it's actually the highest mount is Mount Apo no tapos meron pa yung Mount Dulang Dulang Mount Kitanglad um, those are different mountains that uh, if you know of a certain certain hiker yun po yung mga inaakyat nila all right so let's continue some more here we have your mountain so uh, it is characterized by the presence of rocks and sharp slopes so meron pong mga mountains na easy meron pong mga mountains na hihirap pong akyatin Right, let's continue some more. Alright, when you talk about uh, mountain po, usually isa lang po. Just like your Mount Kalugong, you have your Mount Yangbo, is, isa lang po yan. But when you talk about those mountains that are already connected with other mountains, and they are actually a group of mountains already, we call that one your mountain range. Hmm. Range. Mountain range. No, So, it is a series of mountains forming a ridge. No, uh, Just like, for example, you have your Sierra Madre that's actually found, no? uh, let's have wala tayong map ng Philippines but uh, on this area no pag pumunta kayo ng Quezon area and this side of the Philippines no itong banda dito sa Luzon this is actually where your Sierra Madre is now Sierra Madre is really very important because it actually shields us no kasi sa taas ng mga mountains na yon and mountain ranges yan pag meron pong typhoon na nanggagaling sa Pacific Ocean is actually the one that slows down the strength of the wind because we are covered with the Sierra Madre. That's the reason why for people who are living there, no, sa Sierra Madre po, kailangan po nating i-protect po ang Sierra Madre. Huwag natin pong i-exploit yan because, no, um, there was a story of a person uh, when we, we had a ride in uh, Baler, no, na we're in the Sierra Madre helped them because of there was this tsunami that happened, no, in this uh, eastern part of the Philippines na nung um, tumaas po yung tubig from the sea, no, tumakbo po sila sa Sierra Madre because it's a higher ground, hindi po maabutan ng tsunami. Right? So, importante po. However, hindi po tayo makarelate sa Sierra Madre is because, no, Cordillera is also a really very good example of your mountain ranges. Now, we are really very, uh, we are blessed, no, that because we are able to see those mountain ranges normally every day as you go to mountain province, as you go along the highways of Benguet, andun po, makikita po natin yung mountain ranges ng Sierra, uh, ano, mountain ranges ng Cordillera. So, Cordillera is also considered as mount, a mountain range. So, it's really very important din po ito, no, yung mountain range ng Cordillera. Yera. All right. Let's continue. So let's downgrade, ano? So kung so mountains yung ma mas mataas, no? We have also what you call your hill. It is usually rounded and it is lower and less steep than mountains. Hills may form through erosions or depositions of soil and rocks. Now, if you get to see this is the chocolate uh, hill in Bohol, which is a famous tourist or attraction in, in the Philippines, no? So, makikita po natin dito sa picture po ng, ng chocolate hills po, no? During the summer, it's because, no? Um, hindi nag-grow yung mga, yung mga, mga grasses there. It's actually brown. What, what, during the, during the wet season, pag umuulan po, is because grasses are again already growing there, no? This chocolate brown becomes green. Now, if you're going to look at it, no? How did this very amazing hills, no? Uh, dumami dito sa area ng Bohol. Alright? So, let me share to you a story no, uh, of Bohol. Uh, 
when we are able uh, when i had we had our your field trip before nung sa ano sa sa field trip po namin sa when i was in college ang storya po kasi dito sa Bohol if napansin po natin hill po siya no pero never kayong nakakita that surrounding the hill there are actually trees there nakikita natin oy baka parang parang grasses lang parang buong ganun lang na mount uh, na hill no walang mga trees on the sides unlike your unlike your your mountains now they have said no those people who are sharing to us information and when we had our field trip that before Bohol was actually underwater now because of the under, uh, yung dating history ng Bohol na which is underwater no because of the the salt saltiness content of the sea no ang nangyari po dito is that no nangyari po dito is that there were actually lots of what you call a mineral called car- calcium carbonate this is actually something that causes um acidity in the in the soil of these small hills here in the chocolate hills where in trees no are not able to survive the acidity of the soil thus no only grasses ang kayang mabuhay dito. That's the reason why on this mga hills dito po, wala pong mga trees. Grasses lang po ang nagpapaiba ng kulay dyan. Kasi yung grasses po, sila po yung mga damo na kahit saan kaya nilang mabuhay. Unlike for trees, no, they need a, a very nice environment for them to be able to survive. So, yan po yung storya. Tapos po, eh, since underwater po yan, no, gumagawa because of the waves before, it causes the land formation below water to to parang mayroong wave form then and no, years go by erosions weathering yung wave forms na po yan ito po ang uh, formation ngayon ng mga hills sa Bohol now i hope that you get to someday ano someday visit uh one of those ones but ito maganda po dito and aside from going to chocolate hills yo visit us Corella which is where it, uh habitat po nung ano meron po yung wildlife conservation uh conservation doon ng mga tarsier which is actually uh, for, for us Filipinos also something to be proud of because uh, uh we house the smallest primate in the whole world which is the tar- tarsier sila po yung pinakamaliit na uh, pinakamaliit na pamilya ng unggoy all right tapos ang laki po ng ulo, ah, ulo ng mata nila all right so yan tapos yung pasalubong po for bohol don't forget your peanut kisses let's continue all right so another one would be your volcano no so your volcanoes uh, if you go to grade 8 grade 9 paulit-ulit itong mapapag-aralan nyo but there are some few volcanoes that are found in the Philippines no some are active some are not no the pinaka famous one is a Mount Mayon in um in Legazpi Albay however we have experienced the wrath again of Mount Pinatubo uh, during last January no we're in nagka-ashfall po kasi naging active siya so mga ito po and we have also one in Negros Occidental Mount Canlaon no um there are actually also uh as an active vol- volcano etong mount mayo natin is also an active volcano so volcanoes are actually mga mountains however they have craters there meron po silang vents na paglalabasan po ng mga init under di ba let's say for example kag naiinitan ka kailangan mong pasingawin yung init so in that case no we have your 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 volcanoes are actually just like mountains that have vents no the for them to be able to pasingawin po yung ano yung yung init the heat and pressure that is actually below the ground all right so it's like mountains but it has hollow vents no tapos may lava na lalabas or the ones inside is what you call your magma they are formed by collision of tectonic plates now we'll get to talk more about this one no meron tayong mga um mga normal fault mga faultings na yon uh, when you go to grade 8 all right let's continue again so we have your valley, no? It's actually an it's an area of lowland found between hills or mountains. A river or a stream is usually found in valleys and gives a valley its unique V or U shape. So makita po natin dito, these are the mountains. However, there is a flat area in the middle which actually tells you that it's a valley. Now then again, 
makarelate po ang mga taga Cordillera or taga Benguet dito is because no in our area especially in my area no I live in Strawberry Farm Strawberry Farm no KM6 po dito Strawberry Farm is actually a flat area but if you're going to look at on that flat area we are surrounded with mountains that's the reason why we call that one no our area in La Trinidad we call that one the La Trinidad Valley because La Trinidad is actually a valley. It's a flat area in the middle that we are surrounded with mountains. Alright? So, sa Tagalog po, ang tawag po natin is uh, ang valley. Ano tawag ba natin sa valley? Uh, kalimutan ka. Any, anyway, um, let, uh, let your Filipino teacher uh, translate that one. So, ganun po. So, makarelate po tayo. Pag-isip pag pa natin valley, La Trinidad, where our school uh, is, where our, where our, where we, you know, especially for people in La Trinidad, valley po yung area natin. Alright, let's continue some more. We have what you call your plane. So, makikita po natin sa plane or tawag natin sa Filipino to kapatagan from the area of the site na nakikita mo hanggang doon sa dulo po. No? Sa, sa dulo, makikita natin wala pong mountain. Talagang flat na flat. No, this is uh, actually the the type of landform that you find in uh, Central Luzon. If you go to Nueva Ecija, Isabela, where in uh, puro puro rice fields po yung nandyan, no? It's actually a kapatagan or a plain. Central uh, Luzon is actually, ito po, plain. It's a vast area of flat land. No? Flat land. So, makarelate yung iba dyan. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Alright. So, yun po, no? So, Nothing much, but examples here are uh, is Nueva Ecija, Nueva, I think, uh, Isabela, ano po yung mga nasa gitna ng, ano, ng area. Even if you're, you're traveling from Manila, as you go a long ways of Pampanga in Bulacan, and even in Tarlac po, in La Union, actually, flatlands po doon, no? So, plain, kapatagan. Alright? Let's go na to the next one. So, when you talk about water forms also in the Philippines, no? Kung tawag natin is vicinal location, yung tawag natin sa mga different land masses al as surrounding Philippines, no? We have also what you call your insular location. Ang tawag po natin sa insular location, pag vicinal po ay lupa or landform, sa insular po, ito po yung water bodies. So, ano po yung mga different water bodies that's actually uh, surrounding Philippines, no? Um, tinatawag din po natin yung insular location as your Itawag po natin na insular location po itong Philippines, uh, itong, itong nasa nandito. Kasi, ang tawag, another term for insular location would be maritime location. Kasi, um, for people, uh, especially for sailors, no, or mga, mga, ano, mga biyahe, uh, mga biyahero, itong mga, uh, nasa, mga seaman, no, uh, they, they call this one your maritime location is because they are able to locate their area based on what, uh, water bodies they are. And, in the same, type case also um for countries no binabantayan din po nila yung mga water bodies that surrounds them uh, this is actually considered as their economic zone no na walang mga other countries na pwedeng pumunta sa zone ng ng country ng ibang countries ng walang permission so sa maritime location po nakikita nila po yung traffic ng mga uh, mga barko na dumadaan po doon so may mga barko dumadaan o sino ito mga gyan so if allowed ba silang dumaan that's the reason why no as i've mentioned with the latest issue that we have no some some other uh, foreign nationals are actually crossing the borders or the economic zone of Philippines and trying to even get and steal islands and even poach our different mga dapat sa atin yung mga natural resources na yon pero kinukuha nila because they're fighting for something that is they claim that it's theirs however in the rule no rule of the law uh, meron na kami kasi bagong we have the new what you call this one no new new set of laws that will tell you that around let's say for example i'm not really very sure but 500 500 nautical miles from the last landmass that you have in your country is actually your water no so ano bang makikita natin dito sa philippines so let's talk about let's let's try to see now as a whole no we have them the major oceans no as our mga water forms natin this philippines 
Um, the largest body of water which covers 71% of the surface of the earth is actually water po yung buong globe. However, there are, uh, the other 29% would be landforms na kaya mas marami pong blue dito which is actually water forms Kung, um, as opposed to have your landforms here na 29% lang po ito. So, malaki po natin is your Pacific Ocean. We have another which is your Atlantic Ocean which some of my friends are seamen who... who who curse on passing that uh, that ocean is because of the very high tides or high waves na meron po dyan. We have the Indian Ocean. Um, medyo delikado ito na ocean actually is because dito po maraming mga skippers. No? Um, ito po yung mga, mga hold upper sa pag mayroong mga barkong dumadaan dyan, mayroong mga taga African areas na mga nanguhold up na mga barko and trying to get no the uh, either cash or mga equipment na nas kinakarga ng mga barko and ang, ang mga barko dito are actually mga tankers or some others are actually yung mga nag-import ng mga gadgets mga sasakyan no ito yung mga, so big time po yung mga kan so try to find skippers no or nang hijack sila ng mga barko dito alright so ito actually bantay sarado ito ng mga different countries here uh, sa Indian Ocean we have your Antarctic Ocean is actually and the one at the bottom, no? ito po yung malamig na ocean. And you have the Arctic Ocean on the top of um, sa may North Pole banda. Alright, so, ito po yun. However, for the Philippines, no, the, the ocean that we belong to is actually Pacific Ocean, which is the largest ocean. Itong banda po dito, hindi ko alam kung makikita nyo. Alright, so, tanggalin, tanggalin ko muna yung one. So, makita natin dito, no, itong, Itong banda dito, this is actually the Pacific Ocean that connects here in this area is also your Pacific Ocean, which makes your Pacific Ocean the largest ocean. Let's go now to the next one. We have the sea. no? So, ocean, pinakabig, mabig, malaki. Punta tayo sa mas malit. We have your sea. Now, for the Philippines, no? we are surrounded with the... Uh, teka, hindi ko alam kung ito yung pinaka latest. Right? Kasi pwede itong makontest eh for the sea. Sea is another body of salt water. It's an inland body of water connected to an ocean. Actually, kung malaka yung, yung ocean, no, it may be composed of smaller known seas. Depende so merong mga mag-claim na mapangalan doon. However, for the Philippines, you have your Philippine Sea. No? It's actually on the eastern side of the Philippines. Actually, this is still part of your Pacific Ocean. In the Mindanao area, we have what you call your Celebes Sea. No? So, ito yung mga dinadaanan po ng mga galing ng Malaysia. Especially from Saban, no, dinadaanan po nila dito. To be honest with you, no, we have the three last um, three last uh, islands that are actually found here at the bottom part of the Philippines. Now, we have Tawi-Tawi as the last. We have Sulu as the second to the last. And Basilan as the third to the last. Ah, ano? Yung third to the last dito. Actually, third to the last. This is the Basilan is actually the 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 island where I I was born and I lived there for until uh, until high school. So I'm a proud Basilanio also, specifically the well, the city of Isabela. So I was born here and I still am a Basilanio. However, I'm now residing at La Trinidad. So nakaka-relate pa ako dito sa area nito. This is the Celebes Sea, no? And meron po kasing trading po na nangyayari sa Sabah, Malaysia going to and the, uh, to the Philippines through these small different countries, or uh, countries, small different um, islands here at the, the last part of the Philippines. Alright? So, Philippine Sea on the uh, eastern side is actually a part of your Pacific Ocean. However, you go to the western side of the Philippines, this is what you call your South China Sea. But, no, because China is actually, uh, uh, tawag nito, inaako nila ito. No? This is actually, inaako nila ito, and they're naming this one the South China Sea, which is actually okay. No, no, uh, no, no contest because it's the water here. However, because of the different rulings of different countries all over the world, no, na meron tayong ginawa, we have, we have decided on a certain stuff that it uh, we have limits of territorial limits that we uh, in this area we own the waters and we can fish here we can get the natural resources here now by rule no if you get to see tingnan natin let's make this one bigger here 
Alright. So, palakin po natin dito. By rule po kasi, makikita po natin yung red line po dito. This is actually the limit we're in. No? Hours is, no? ito yung red line to tawag natin dito, your international treaty limits. That's the reason why the red areas are the ones that we are, or kailangan po nat, kaya po nating ma-own po no? as an area na pwede po nating pag dyan. So, the red parts here actually, no? owned by the Philippines. Then we have here the, 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 the lighter red, which is the Kalayan Group of Islands or the Kalayan, Kalayan Claim that is claimed by some, uh, it actually uh, disputed ito, no? Um, pinag-aawayan nito dati ng kwan. Where is your, uh, where in your, ito po dito yung banda yung Spratlys Island. However, kiniklaim ito dati ng, ng itong country, ng itong country, itong country. Alright? So, yun po. Eh, kaya disputed po siya, nasi-share po siya actually ng mga different countries there. However, no, Scarborough Shoal is actually a part of the, uh, napasok po sa international treaty limits ng Philippines, but the Scarborough Shoal is actually being taken down by other countries. No? So, right now, no, this area that is actually on the western part of the Philippines that is under your international treaty limits is actually named as your West Philippine Sea. Hindi po nakasulat dito, pero this area dito po, tawag po natin dyan, is West Philippine Sea. So, let's name that one West Philippine Sea and not totally South China Sea. Because China is really very far from us here and they're still claiming that they own this water. We have also Taiwan here, which is actually the northern part of the Philippines that they claim also waters there. So, yun po. No? So, meron tayong tinatawag na arch archipelagic water. No? Ito po yung water ng Philippines. No? And we also have what you call your exclusive economic zone. So, ito na po yun. But anyway, no? ito po yung pinag ng mga different countries right now in the South, uh, uh, the Southeast Asian countries uh, against a certain big country. Alright, let's continue some more. Alright, so, we have what you call your rivers. No? Uh, we have in our, in our area like in our area sa dito po may have your Balili River however it's actually dying we have your Agno River which actually have the, uh, the opportunity the opportunity to one so makikita po natin dito we have your underground river in Palawan this is actually one of those things that are really very interesting for you to to visit on no this is actually an underground river but this is really very cool, no? very intriguing na river because if you're going to look at the underground river here, this is actually connected with the seawater here. Alright, so I will, I will give some more information later on. I hope that I will not forget this one. However, it's just a large stream of water no? flowing to the seas. Ito po yung mga tubig na nanggagaling po sa mountains. Then, they form a large stream of water that later on will exit to the sea. So, tawag po natin dyan, river. Kasi actually, the one that connects the mountains to the sea is actually a river, right? So, important rivers in the Philippines. We have your Pasig River that is trying to sur revive. Actually, sa likod lang po ito, no, Malacanang. We have your Cagayan River. Ito, itong ginagamit sa Cagayan de Oro right now. Um, They use this one for whitewater rafting, which is one thing that you'd like to also, if you're going to visit Cagayan and you are actually an adventurous type of person, you try the Cagay. Uh, meron pong mga... Uh, mga different uh, shops doon that they cater you for white water rafting. We have also Agusan River and the Underground River in Palawan. In our area, we have your Agno River, we have your Balili River here in La Trinidad. Meron po yung isang river na nakalimutan ko. It's actually supplying the water, uh, yung supply, ng, nag nagbibigay po ng water supply po dito sa atin sa Cordillera and even some parts of La Union. Alright, so, iyan po actually yung river. Let's get to go to the next. But before, kung dederecho ito sa ibang water forms, uh, we have your streams. So, ito po, mga batis uh, streams or mga maliliit na version ng river. Iba po yung batis pala. Spring yung tawag natin sa batis or in our area, we call that one your ubog. Alright, so streams. However, no, hindi po na-include dito. If you get to encounter no, the, the boundary of, of river... So, if you get to encounter someday a boundary of river at saka yung, yung sea, no? Um, I get experience this one in Nagsasa Cove in uh, Sambales. Uh, is, was it Nagsasa? This the other cove, no? Uh, Anawangin Cove, I'm sorry. Anawangin Cove in, uh, in, in Sambales where in 
in our area where we stayed no is actually uh, a boundary where in the the river meets the sea no so ang feeling anong tanong mo niyo, niyo ba doon sir ano yung lasa ng tubig doon sir kasi yung sea kat, uh, salt water yung river eh fresh water tag nagmix doon sa boundary ano po yung lasa doon um actually it's not about the taste but no what do you call that area we're in no the uh, it connects oh it connects the the river and the sea and we call that one your estuary no estuary po yung tinatawag natin yung parang a uh, uh, water form po na we're in it connects your river from your sea right so estuary so hindi po na include dito but I'd like to add that one as part of your kan of your idea so streams po mga maliliit po ng mga uh river all right punta tayo sa lake meron ba tayong lake dito sa ko natin sa area natin meron your lake may be composed of two types no two types meron po tayong mga natural lakes and we have your man made lake um the one that is man made is the one that we can relate here however if you go to taal no or even La laguna or lake lanao sa lanao sa agusan po um Ito po yung parang isang isang uh, isang body of water na na surround. Uh, I went to Mount Lalinis and we have your ano, you have your two two lakes there and uh, pwede pong madadaanan diyan. You have your Yagumyum and na Nailig Lake there. Uh, that is where we get our water uh, as we trek along Mount Lalinis in Negros Oriental. So yung lake po is actually a surrounded body of water lang na surrounded with the with the mountains no at saka steady lang po na water doon. Tapos nadadagdagan lang po sila ng mga water doon. pag umuulan so tumataas yung tubig all right so this is actually lake and a lake po nakikita natin unlike your river na parang flowing po siya sa lake po steady lang po siya kasi nakaparang parang isipin niyo po para siyang timba lang na uh, nasa gitna na, na surround po ng mga mountains timba lang po siya sa gitna na doon lang po yung tubig na nakastak all right so lake po ang tawag natin diyan however the one that you get to see here in your picture and your your Taal lake is actually Uh, this is the natural one. However, we can relate to the one we have here in our area is because of meron po ito yung tatawag nating man-made lake or your Burnham Lake. Diyan po tayo, diyan po kayo nagbo-boating, all right? So, yun, man-made lake is actually your uh, have your Burnham Lake, all right? So, let's go to the next one. So, malapit na po tayong matapos, no? Just uh uh Bear with me. We have also we have your kano effects of location of the Philippines positive effects. Dahil bi kwan po tayo no so tapos po tayo sa different landforms. Now we have the ano bang effect ng pagiging yung magandang position ng Philippines no as a country. Now Philippines po ang magandang effect po niya is because centro po siya nandyan. All right. Uh, to give you an idea, also the fact that the Philippines was before being um, niligawan po ng, ng United States before is because Philippines is actually found in a center location of Asia, wherein it's really a very good military defense position. That if um, uh, America on this side here, which is actually kung continue na to the east side is tanjan, no, will be used as defense area. Kaya meron po tayong base militar po dati dito na visiting forces agreement po ng Philippines dati ng American soldiers and Philippine soldiers no na meron po silang parang pagtatambayan po ng American soldiers dito no as a defense area po nila na kung meron silang makakaaway from the other areas no before na dumating sa kanila meron na po silang depensa dito po sa Philippines the other uh, base military uh, based on the history before also of America is actually found in Okinawa, Okinawa Japan. So, andito po na area nito. However, ang ganda po ng position ng Philippines because this is the center of where Asian water, uh, actually center even surrounded with water, center po siya. Now, because of us being, because of us being, uh, what do you call this one, no? Because of us being, uh, tawag nito, being uh, in the center and being an archipelago no ang tawag po nat uh, ang maganda pong isang effect dyan is a mega diverse region where high rates of endemic species are found Bis because no na tropical tayo in the, in, the, in the middle in the visayas or um 
Mindanao area however malamig naman po tayo dito sa may banda ng sa atin no different di uh, ano diversity po ng mga organisms can be found in the Philippines is because it makes us uh, a diverse region so iba po dito sa area na ito iba po sa Visayas iba po sa Mindanao iba po sa Luzon we're in no pag when you go to grade 8 and we talk about biodiversity no the the diverse the environment is the better is actually the survival survivability of the organisms found in those area na no? mas maganda po eh, something that is eh, something for us to be proud of being in the Philippines makikita din po natin dito no because of the positive effects no diverse po yung tinatawag natin na flora and fauna when you talk about your flora these are your plant species po mga plants po trees different plants different uh species of plants, oh, flora po tawag natin. When you talk about your fauna, these are actually also the diversity of animals. So, diverse po in the Philippines, we have flora and fauna, diversity of the uh, tawag natin, uh, plant species and the animal species found in our area. Let's say, for example, here in the Cordillera, we found we can find mga pine trees po. However, if you go to the hot areas of Visayas po, wala po kayong masyadong makitang pine trees. Kung meron man po, iba po yung species na yon. However, in Visayas, you get to see na ang dami din po doong mga broadleaf na mga trees just like your acacia, you have your yakal, you have your mahogany, oh, those mga hardwood naman po ang maka, maka, makikita nyo dyan. That's the reason why when and I was still having my college in Siliman University in Negros Oriental, no? Uh, Siliman University is uh, composed of around 300 plus of acacia trees. However, in the area that I transferred right now, in La Trinidad, and even in Baguio or in Benguet, as a whole, no? Wala po masyadong acacia tree, meron po is pine trees naman po. Alright? So, makita natin po yung diversity ng mga plant species po na andito po sa Philippines. If you're talking, talking about a fruit fruit bearing trees po uh, dito sa area natin hindi masyadong ganun kadami po no vegetables po ang madami sa atin because of the climate that we have however if you go to the Mindanao area we have durian we have your rambutan we have your lansones we have your marang this actually not found also in our area yun po yung isang magandang positive effect po ng location ng Philippines let's talk more about more no so ito nga po no some in Tinatawag natin endemic, ito po yung mga halos uh, mawawala na po. Halos na mawawala na po to the point na kailangan po natin silang i-protect and i-preserve. Now we have your tarsier, no? it's actually found mostly in Bohol. However, we have that one in Leyte and even in Samar. Uh, there was this uh, vlog of... Uh, vlog of Erwan Yusuf wherein they went to a certain uh, wildlife reserve in in Mindanao I think that he was able to film a wild tarsier no and Mindanao po yun so makita po natin meron din palang tarsier sa Mindanao one of the things that we have also be proud of as a Filipino is a Philippine eagle which is actually the haribon or the the, the king of all eagles no ito po yung pinakamalaking eagle that at some other books they call this one your monkey eating eagle. Tanggalin natin po yung mukha ko. Alright? So, the monkey eating eagle. Alright? So, yan po. Makikita natin. And we have also your uh, Philippine spotted deer. Uh, makikita natin ito sa Negros area. Uh, Philippine spotted deer. I think in Zili uh, Siliman University Zoo, meron pong ganito. Now, I think this is what they call your pilandok in the local terms. Then, this one, we have here your... Uh, the biggest uh, flower no in the whole world i forgot what's the name of this one however i think uh, indonesia claims this one uh, they uh, parang sila yung sila yung may kwan eh, may may signature na, na flowers nito though it is also found in the philippines the biggest flower no so ito po yung mga endemic species in the philippines so we need to protect kailangan po natin silang padamihin kasi pag hindi natin po sila ma-protect eh tawag nito, hindi na po maaabutan ng next generation. Yung apo nyo, maybe yung anak nyo, hindi na po nila maabutan itong mga species nito. Kailangan natin po silang i-preserve. To be honest with you, for Philippines, no, itong eagle na ito na nandito, 
Ang eagle na nandito po. We have sent uh, an eagle no, to, to Singapore for them to tawag nito. Take care of one of our eagles no, that we are are trying to kailang. Kasi ang eagle kasi ang hirap po nilang mag, mag mag-reproduce. Mahirap pong para padamihin ng eagle kasi for a male eagle, for a female eagle, dapat po kasi mag po kung kailan po sila in heat. So, meron pong times na in heat po yung lalaki pero hindi in heat yung babae. So, wala pong nangyayari. Or in heat yung babae pero hindi naman in heat yung lalaki. Eh, wala din pong nangyayari. Kailangan po mag sila na parehas sila in heat para po maka, makagawa na mga offspring at dumami po yung eagle. And it's because of that, ano, of that reason na ang hirap pong magpadami ng mga endemic species na ito. Alright? So, yan po yung, yung problema ng kan. So, kailangan po natin i-protect sila. And it's because of the location of the Philippines that we have diverse of these ones here. Alright? Let's continue. Malapit na po. No? Just uh, bear with me. Alright? So, the Philippines actually surrounded with what you call your Pacific Ring of Fire. It's actually a uh, linya po. Pag meron po tayong tinatawag na mountain ranges, um, ito pong tinatawag natin dito is actually your volcanic ranges naman po. And you get to see here in the picture there are the red ones there. No? There's actually the Pacific Ring of Fire. So, linya po yan ng mga active volcanoes no? that may someday sasabog po or mag ng earthquake or tsunami on those areas. no? And mind you po, meron po tayong tinatawag ng mga underwater volcanoes. So, those volcanoes here are actually not found, some, hindi obvious na makikita natin on the top of our land, land area. However, some are actually found under water. So, sila po yung nakakatakot kasi pag pumutok po sila, it causes tsunami and causes, ano, especially for people living on the coastline, no? nakakatakot po yung tsunami. Alright. So, ito po. Saan po bang Philippines dito? Tingnan natin. Alright. So, um, we have here this one, Mount, uh, so Mount St. Helens. We have Mount Mayon here. So, we have here Philippines. So, andito po banda yung Philippines. Tapos, ito po, buo po ito na Pacific Ring of Fire. Alright? So, isa po ito sa negative effect po ng Philippines. Alright? So, hindi naman masabi nating malas tayo. Pero, itong position po ang nagpapakon po natin dito because of the different, uh, because of the location of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Natamaan po na dun, nandun din po tayo. Alright? Let's continue some more. Another negative effects is that ito, pag-aaralan natin sa grade 8. However, to give you an idea, one of the negative effects of the Philippines is because it's found near the equator and we have a very big body of ocean on the eastern side of the Philippines causes us to be prone with typhoons. And makikita po natin as the ano, as months starts from June, July, nagsa-start na po doon yung mga bagyo natin. We start with letter A, no? Sometimes we end with letter Z or sometimes not, but usually as an average, we encounter 20 tropical storms in a year since we are located in the Pacific Ocean. Pag meron po tayong malaking bodies of water, no? We are more prone to typhoon. Alright? So, yun na nga po eh. On the right side, we have your, uh, on the eastern side or right side of the Philippines, we have uh, the right side or the eastern side of the Philippines, we have your um, Pacific Ocean on the west and then the, east, uh, the western side po, we have your West Philippine Sea. Kaya ayawin po, no? Surrounded bodies of water. Kasi po, yung typhoon po natin, yung nagpapagasolina po para lumakas yung typhoon natin are, is what you call your warm sea water or warm ocean water. Pag mainit po yung uh, ocean waters during during summers, no? Or kan umiinit po sila is, uh, dyan na po lumalaki yung mga tinatawag nating mga typhoon. Now, the very strong typhoon that we had uh, so far that... Uh, I get to encounter when I was in Visayas was Typhoon Yolanda that actually hit Tacloban and even Ormoc, no? So, sa Leyte po yun, sila po yung natamaan ng, ng area na yun. And talagang halos wipe out po yung buong Leyte during that time is because of the wrath of Typhoon Yolanda. This actually considered as a Category 5. Alright. So, isang negative effect. Aside from your volcanoes, 
that may cause tsunamis. We have also we are also very prone to typhoon. So if you get to think more of the advantages for Philippines for its location and even for its kano for its ah negative effects also you can add some more here. However, so far ito po yung mamalala alam natin na the this negative effects are the ones that we're going to study in your grade nine and grade eight. No, as you get to go to the next level. So let's get to review ourselves with the key points. Pag land masses po tawag natin vicinal location. Pag water bodies po tawag natin insular location. And flora and fauna. When you talk about flora, these are your plant species. We have your fauna. We have your animal species. No, so which is actually a plus for the Philippines. Now let's get to pass by this different kind of different check your understanding here. So try nyo pong have your map again. You can use Google for this one. So try to identify this area. If let's say for example, basing your your basing the relation to Philippines. No, so. Where we are, Philippines, no, saan ba banda si Malaysia? Is it in the north, the south, northeast, southeast, northwest? So, I will be adding this one as part of your activity po doon. So, how does the location of Philippines help boost its community? Alright? Maybe I can add some more also here. Kung pwede lang sanang mag, paano? Kung pwede lang sanang mag-essay po sa Kuiper. So, this is actually something that gets to steer up no at at your young age kahit hindi po natin i-google nito try niyo mag-isip ano kaya ang magandang advantages ng Philippines no help boost its economy no meron akong naisip na isa dahil sa pagiging diverse natin malaki po ang chance na sinasabi nila it's more fun in the Philippines so yun po yung isang nagbo-boost ng community po sa area natin so with that said no that's actually the end of the lesson i see this is kind of long But I will be making time stamps for this one for you to be able to skip on those areas that will that will direct you right away to that subtopics that we have here. So once again, no, reminding you of reminding you of what they call this one. Encourage your classmates to be to finish their quipper activities. And in that case, pag na encourage you po yung classmates yot, marami po kayo na ka finish po before we're going to see face to face. Maybe next month or next next month. I will be waving off the exams for the fourth quarter, and I have for you to also have a very good score, po, sana. So, yun nga po, no. As a part, kwan, no. Encourage you po yung mga klase nyo, to kwan. So, meron yung mga kasi yung mga na online pero hindi po nagbubukas ng keeper nila. So, kahit chat nyo lang, remind nyo lang sa GC nyo o every day remind nyo po na oh answer nyo na madali lang po hindi naman hindi ko naman po pinapahirapan yung mga activities nyo dito right so without further much ado this is actually a really very interesting topic in science because it it tells us more of us being Filipinos and maybe even the location of the Philippines how does it affect being as a ruler pag kayo po yung 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 ano yung President ng Philippines and nakabitak-bitak po yung mga land areas ng Philippines. So being Philippines as an archipelago, how are we able to solve the crisis that we are encountering right now? Just like your income crisis right now. So if you have your idea right in mind, no, siguro mo papa gawa ako na activity for this one. So this will be my part. Ako no parting ways for today as for this lesson. So without further much ado, thank you once again for reaching this area of our lesson and. You stay at home, no. Let's let's get to praise more for this crisis to to end up. And good morning once again. God bless and ingat sa buhay. Alright, enjoy your learning more about this lesson.